All right, guys, so let me show you how to properly calibrate the compass for the PIXOG as well as the external compass. So this is the PIXOG, this is the external compass. Compass is connected by IC2, I2C, and the compass is, uh, the, the GPS is connected right there to that unit. So what you need to do is uh, you have to um, use the, the battery power as well as the um, as well as the USB power. Now when it comes to the USB, make sure you have an extension cord like that. I got a couple of USB extensions here. And what you need to do, this is the front right here. This, this is the front of the, of, the, um, of the drone. So you have to find where is your north. And when you're going to start calibrating it, make sure the north is always pointing north. And I will, I will show you why it's important. So uh, we got here a frame layout right there, right? Frame layout. This is a regular quad, so I press next. This is the usual accelerometer calibration. I just say start. It says... Uh, continue. Press the vehicle level and press any key. So press any key. Left side. So we position the drone on the left side, obviously. And we press continue. We position the drone on the right side and we press continue. We position the drone nose down and we press continue. Now we position the drone nose up, we press continue. Alright, so that's that. Now you have to say the accelerometer should be calibrated now, so you just press next. Now you have to do compass life calibration. For the compass life calibration, what you need is this, this should be north. My north is right there, so you have to place it like this, on a chair like that. So this is north right there, and the and the uh, uh, the uh, drone is facing north. There is plenty of cable right here, and it has to be USB cable. You can't really do it wireless calibration because it's not gonna work. Trust me. I mean, it's gonna work. It, it will seem like it's gonna work, but it's not gonna fly well. So here we press live calibration, and what we need to do next is. Uh, we need to rotate this guy from north to north. So basically, we should end that north right here. That north. Now we're gonna put it on the left side. Rotate it like that. Also, we need to end that north. Okay. Now we need to put it on the right side like that. And rotate it also that north. Until basically it's going to be north like that, like that. Okay. Now we're going to be putting it face down like that. Again, it has to be north. Everything has to be north. So it took me a while to figure out back in the days. But here, this needs to be done at north. Once this is done full circle, you need to flip it to the back side. Again, north. Make sure there's plenty of cable. So we're going like that. Again, we ended the north. Again, this is all north right there. And then we can flip it over like that. And rotate it like this way. And again, we can flip it back this way. Position it like that. And you see, this is the circles you need to get, pretty much everything the way it should be. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Do you see there is two white dots that are not calibrated well? And I'm not sure where they are at. All right. So... You say okay, you say okay, 
and then we press next. After pilot version we use Pixoc. Sensor are using uh, we use the power module. Okay? And the battery size is usually 5000 in my case. Then we press next. Sonar, I don't have a sonar. Okay. Radio and point calibrations. Well, let's do the radio and point calibrations. I've done it before. Um, on a bunch of other ones. So we power up the upper sky and we need to switch the the model. We need to press enter here, enter, enter, select model, exit, and let's see if those guys got binded. Yep, those are binded. So continue. And when you see one of those, what you need to do, you need to move those guys up. That's guy basically can be a throttle. This is left stick going up and down. That's a throttle. Left, basically here. That's your yaw right here. Left, right. That's pretty standard. Okay. So throttle, throttle up, throttle down. Yeah, to the left, yeah, to the right. Now, this is pitch. Pitch going down. That's the way it's supposed to be, I think. Maybe not, but we'll see in a second. Pitch going up and roll to the right, the roll to the left. So that's. Now, switches. This switch doesn't respond to anything. This switch is radio 6 right there. Channel number six. This switch is radio five. Yep. Sure. 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 It's gonna come up after nine p.m. So this switch doesn't correspond to anything. This is uh, land. Okay. This is nothing. Let's see the switch. Nope. Nope. Okay, so that's radio eight right there. So that's eight, and that's nothing, nothing, and that's this one. I believe this one I used to switch the channels between the videos. Alright. 
So again, we are moving all around. Then we move it this way. Switch this guy. This is nothing. So all channels are pretty much set. All eight channels. Okay, so this is the flight mode. Okay, the battery fail cell, cell is gonna be land. Uh, ground station fail safe. Uh, gonna be always return to landing. Throttle fail safe. Return to landing. So basically, the throttle fails if, if it runs out of range and it doesn't see the uh, transmitter anymore, it's gonna come back home. Um, throttle fails safe. Throttle fails fail safe. I'll name 975. What's the settings for it? Well, we will see later on. Next. Geofence are never enabled, this is a horrible thing. So we say finished. Alright, so... Everything is calibrated. And... Externally mounted. So we're using both compasses. Radio calibration. I'm not really sure about the ya. Uh, the pitch basically being swapped places. I will check right now and see how it's gonna fly. AC calibration.
Mm, strange, the battery voltage is only 6 right now, so I have to charge this uh, battery. Well, I have the OSD, not on this one, but on the other one, I showed you how to um, how to work it. So, for me, now the thing is, I need to use this channel right here to, to do the tilt on the camera. So, so tilt on the camera. I believe it's number So my understanding radio 6 is going to be my camera gimbal. Radio 8 is going to be returned to home. So camera gimbal gonna be a six. Here we need to. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And basically, what we need to do, we need to. Right parameters, let's say OK. Alright, and one more thing is we have the channel 8, or the channel 8 for return to landing, and battery hardware. So this is channel 8. So this guy right here, this one, is gonna be returned to home. So uh, when we do uh, channel 8 right there we say return to landing ok right so also we need to change couple of parameters here which I can do later so yeah right parameters ok And that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, the most important part when you're calibrating it, make sure this is north. Every time you rotate something, it ends up at the north. Thanks so much. Have a good day.